Oh, hello. Is that Parker's? Look, I'm going fishing this weekend and I shall need some more bait. No, only on the Thames. The maggots will do. I'll send someone round to collect them. Oh, by the way, those trout flies I bought from you have been very successful. Especially the cocky bondu. Seems to attract the trout like a magnet. Yes, well, thank you again. Bye. Excuse me. Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> you startled me. Do you mind knocking before you barge in? I'm sorry. Is that better? I've lost it. You lost what? I have lost my favourite fly. I had it in my hand a moment ago. I must have dropped it. Can you see it anywhere? What does it look like? Well, it's about two inches long, red and black, and it's got a curly tail. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it's flown out the window. It is a fishing fly, a cocky bondu. A cocky what? Bondu. <laughs> oh. It must be here somewhere. Oh, well, if it's here, we'll find it. Oh, well, perhaps I should come back later. Oh, Mr Brown, you can join in. Well, I'm not really that religious, actually. We are looking for a fly. A fly? Oh, yes, it's a two inches long, brown, red and black, and uh, got a curly tail. Sounds quite lethal. Oh, would you mind helping us look for no, it? No, not at all. Oh, I found it. Where? It's here, just under the desk. Oh, I'll get it. No, stand back, Sid, you leave this to me. What are you doing, Mr. Brown? Stay okay, where you are, Miss Courtney, this could be dangerous. Yeah, that's good. Not moving now. Mr. Brown. Uh, just a minute. Better to be safe than sorry. Ah. <laughs> oh, I've just remembered. I, I haven't inspected the boilers. Oh. <laughs> Have you quite finished, Mr. Brown, or would you like to borrow a hammer? You can't be too careful where strange insects are concerned. Have you any idea where it came from? Yes, W. Parker and Son. Uh, um? Fishing tackle suppliers. Oh, fish... It wasn't... It was. Oh, dear. Got any glue? I don't think Charles are very fond of glue. No, I suppose they don't. I'll buy you another. Oh, I see that you do. Excuse me. Hello? Speaking. Pardon? Is it you? Is it really you? It is you. It's him. <laughs> what, you're you, you, coming here? You, you... Well, you're not coming here. You, you are coming here. He's coming here. <laughs> He's in half an hour. You'll be here in half an hour. He'll be here in half an hour. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, until then. Are you feeling all right? That was him. Yes, he's coming here in half an hour. But who is him? I mean, who is he? Well, it's, it's a man I never thought I'd see again. My ex fiance you mean you were actually engaged at one time? Well, there's no need to sound so surprised. <laughs> but it was, it was over 25 years ago. I mean, I mean, I was just... Well, I was very young. I met him at Oxford in the high. It was raining, he offered me shelter under his umbrella and he insisted on buying me a cup of tea and a sticky bun. How romantic. <laughs> yes, it... Uh, well, that was how it all started. Why didn't you get married? Oh, it was awful. He left me. Well, at the church? In a lurch. <laughs> oh, Mr Brown, I have never told anyone this before. Oh, well, if you'd rather not. No, sit down. Well? For years I have kept this terrible secret to myself. Now he is coming back into my life again, I feel I must tell someone, and I think I can trust you, Mr Brown. Well, I'd rather not if it's going to cause any embarrassment. Oh, it won't embarrass me. Yeah, but it might embarrass me. No, I'm sure it won't. Well, anyway, he, um... Asked me to go down to Brighton with him for one of those, you know, weekends. Oh, double room, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Exactly. And you refused. Oh, no, I went. <laughs> I even remember the hotel. The Bella Vista, opposite the abattoir. Very Bella Vista. Well, we, we booked in, and Albert, being the thoughtful man he was, he uh, let me go upstairs first to um, prepare myself, as it were, whilst he had a drink in the bar. Getting up a bit of Dutch courage, eh? I beg your pardon. Oh, okay. <laughs> you need to such a lovely person waiting to be, um... What happened then? He didn't turn up. <laughs> he got drunk, passed out, and spent the night on a settee in the residence lounge. How despicable. Well, I went home and I refused ever to see him again. I heard later that he was working in the Far East. But I must admit, I have always cherished a secret hope that he might one day come back. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Yes, Ali, what is it? Please come quickly. We are having plenty of trouble in the classroom. Oh, what do you mean, trouble? 
Maxi and Giovanni, they are murdering each other. Come on, man. I'm bloody when you are. And I'm a lady when you are. Hey, come on, man. Come on. Why you come on, Dan? Okay. Oh, hey. show sure, that. You're going to be sorry. We seals are going to be solid. Okay. <laughs> come on, man. I'm waiting for you to come on. And I'm waiting for you to come on. Come on, stop this brawling. Oh, so lucky for you, Professor. Stop me from giving you a black eye. You're lucky I didn't make your nose. I will not have fighting in the class. Fighting? It was more like dancing. <laughs> I was just warming up. Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, what is all this about? I tell you, Professor. Isa called me a wop. And he's calling me a greaseball. <laughs> I wish you could pick up proper English as quickly as you pick up slang. I have enough trouble with Ellie and Ranjit. Now, don't you two start falling out. Now, shake hands. Come on. Right, now, tonight, I want to concentrate on English conversation, the sort of things that you have to say during the course of every day, all right? For example, Ranjit, where would you take a check? In Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Not that sort of check. <laughs> check for a certain amount of money. Where would you take it? To a bank. Thank you. Right. Juan. Yes, senor. If you felt ill, what would you do? Go to bed. <laughs> but before that? Uh, take the clothes off. <laughs> you would go to the doctors? No, no doctor. Doctor kill my uncle in Madrid. <laughs> really? Gee, my uncle, he has pain in the chest. He goes see doctor. Doctor, he listen and say, so I. <laughs> Ten minutes later in the street, my uncle... Finito. What a heart attack. Motocar. <laughs> well, you can hardly blame the doctor for that. Che, the doctor, he was driving the motor. Terror. Ah, so. Although weights are now metric in this country, we still use an old system which is known as what? Saria. Not Noah. Does anybody know of the no? <laughs> Avoir du poids. Excellent. Merci. Does avoir du poids ring a bell now, Taro? Yes, sir. Avoir du poids is French for have you some pizza? Come <laughs> on, oh, Taro, I don't believe you're that stupid. Sorry. Just a joke. If you shall kindly leave your jokes at home. Right, Zoltan, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, please. Which shop... Yes, shop, shop. Yeah, which shop would you go to to buy a packet of cigarettes? Cigarettes? Uh, no shop. Now, come on, Zoltan, you must go to some sort of shop. Zoltan, no smoke. <laughs> Zoltan, there you go for chewing gum. Ah! Mm. <laughs> sweet shop. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Anna tells me sweet. Yeah, no, sweet, sweet. Sweet or sweet, what's the difference? <laughs> well, the difference is, Anna, that you must learn to say were and not the. Were. The were. <laughs> you really got it, man. Try again. The were? Yeah, try saying voa without the ver. Oa. <laughs> Almost, try again, but this time, d don't say oa, just were. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. A wet weekend in winter. Wet weekend in winter. Very good. Very good. <laughs> yes, please. You have a headache. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Assume you have a headache. Where would you go to get some aspirin? Ah, tandoori takeaway. <laughs> no, um, Yes, please. My jolly good friend who is working there always had plenty aspirin. Mm. I meant to buy some aspirin. Why should I be buying them? When I can be getting them from my friend, <laughs> nothing is All right. Where do you go for Aspen when the Tandoori takeaway is closed? Oh, blimey. Taj Mahal Curry House. <laughs> Camilla, would you please tell Ali where you go to get Aspen? Oh, my chemist. Thank you. Where are you going now? To buy some Aspen for headache. Well, I thought you said you hadn't got a headache. Oh, blimey, I got one now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Brown, the old dragon wants you. Please, Sid, do be a bit more respectful, especially in front of the students. It's up to us to set a good example. I'm sorry. Now, what does the old dragon, uh, Miss Courtney, want to <laughs> I've no idea, but I don't think she's very well. Hmm? She actually smiled at me. Enter! 
You feeling all right? Yes, why? It sounds as if you were in pain. I was singing. <laughs> I am sorry to bring you away from your class, Mr. Brown, but before you leave this evening, would you mind checking that Sid's locked up properly? Absolutely. So he should be. <laughs> <laughs> I was referring to the building. You see, it is quite likely that I may be leaving early. <laughs> oh, to think he's come back in my life after 25 years. <laughs> I think I need another sherry to uh, settle my stomach. <laughs> What's the matter? He's here. Look. Where? Down there. Oh! Oh! You stupid fool. You have crowned my Albert. <laughs> I feel terrible. I've got a splitting headache. Well, look, I am sorry. It was an accident. Look, this is Miss Courtney's office. You can... uh, oh, uh, wait a minute. Look, have you got somewhere where I could comb my hair and brush myself down? I must look presentable for our first meeting after 25 years. Yes, of course. Uh, straight down there on the right. Uh, thank you. Enter. Hello, darling. <laughs> It's you. Oh, where's Albert? You haven't pushed him down the stairs, have you? No, no, no. He's just gone to comb his hair. Well, is he all right? There's no damage, I hope. Uh, I'm afraid there is, actually. Oh, dear. Is it bad? Well, the plant pot's broken. <laughs> I was referring to Albert. Oh, Albert. No, no, no. He's, he's fine. I'll get it. Darling. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yes, uh, this is Darling. Uh, Miss Courtney. Albert. Dolores. Dolores! <laughs> Haven't you a class to attend to? Yes, of course, darling. Dolores. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, must, uh, Dr. 2P must have rolled away somewhere. <laughs> uh, glad to see you're all working hard. What are you studying, Ingrid? How to improve your bust line. Very educational. You can borrow it if you wish to. Uh, no, thank you. What's keeping you occupied, Juan? Girls galore. Well, I'm sure there's not much English in that. No, but some pretty pictures. Yes. <laughs> Sultan? Gorgeous chicks. Well, I'm uh, sure that's not about poultry farming. Bochana? Never mind. Hannah? True romances? <laughs> Max, football review. Danielle, toujours l'amour. Don't the French ever think about anything else other than love? To the French, there is nothing else. Giovanni, l'amour In Italy, we're just alike the French. Yeah. Banji, cartoon capers. I am reading all about Bugs the Bunny and Woody the Pecker. <laughs> Ali, the world's most exotic dishes. I didn't know you were interested in cookery. Oh, blimey. When I'm buying it, I did not know it was about cooking. <laughs> Jamila, knitting made easy. Taro, the confessions of a geisha girl. <laughs> yes, well, you might all learn English much more quickly if you began by reading a better class of literature. And as you're all obviously so keen to learn English, I'll give you some extra homework tonight. Oh. Why, uh, look, it's time you took these lessons seriously. So, before we break for tea, I'm going to ask you each a question, and anyone who gives an incorrect answer will be fined 10p. Oh. The money will go to charity. Hey, who's this bird charity you give our money to? <laughs> oh, Giovanni, charity is not a bird. It means, a, uh, uh, it means an organisation, a deserving cause. Right, one, spell quiet. Por favor. Quiet. <laughs> ah, quiet. <laughs> no, spell quiet. Ah, eh. Uh, how much we pay, we're wrong. Ten p. Yeah. <laughs> right, Ingrid, give me an example of a preposition. Um, will you to dinner take me? I said a preposition, not a proposition. <laughs> a preposition shows the relation between a noun or pronoun and some other word. A gift from Mary, a house for sale. A date with teacher? Yes, all right, I'll accept. Oh, 
good to not forget. No, I mean, I will accept your answer. Now, Ranjit, how do you pronounce the following? B O U G H, C O U G H, and T O U G H. You are trying to be catching me out. And B O U G H. Uh, buff. T O U G H. Tof. C O U G H. Co. Three out of three wrong. Thousand apologies. Mm. Mm. Right, Giovanni, what is meant by vice versa? On second thoughts, I won't ask you that. <laughs> what is a diphthong? Is it like a dipstick? <laughs> what do you think? I think I owe you 10p. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Ali, what does the term coup de grace mean? And don't you dare say cutting the lawn. I'm never hearing of it. It uh, means the final stroke. It's French. Oh, blimey. I'm having enough worries learning the English. <laughs> well, it's in fairly common usage. 10p, please. Thank you. Taro. Asso. Decline the verb to jump. I jump up. You jump up. He jumps up, she jumps up, we jump up, they jump up. Very good, Tara, but you must try not to end every word in O, OK? <laughs> OK. <laughs> you, as oil is to water, so chalk is to... Blacky board. <laughs> Cheese. 10p, please. I am not understand. Well, it's a phrase that's in common usage. They are as alike as chalk and cheese. But Master G, chalk and cheese are not be alike. Exactly, so it means they're not alike. I am crazy. I am think it is easier to say they are not be alike than to be talking about chalkies and cheesies. <laughs> yes, well, I admit we do tend to complicate our language. Mm. Max, uh, give me an example of a principal clause. Santa Claus. <laughs> My God. Right, just for that, Max, you can write out 20 times a clause is a sentence which is part of a longer sentence. OK. Yeah, but not now, in your own time. And you can give me 10p. Thank you. Tanya, as handsome as a prince, as ugly as... A swing. <laughs> as ugly as sin. 10p. It was worse, it. <laughs> and can you give me two different meanings of the word blow? Yeah. You can blow like so, or you can give somebody a blow. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Right, Zoltan. Yes, please. Can you give me the past tense of the verb to see? Uh... not. <laughs> see, saw. Ah! See, so, no, see, no, so. No, 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 Zeltan, yeah. Today I see, yesterday I saw. No, well, it's not really fair to take one from you. Bochana. Oh, I don't know, though. <laughs> Wait, 80p in three minutes. At this rate, we'll soon have a small fortune. Another cup of tea, Alvis. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Dolores. <laughs> a glass of sherry, perhaps. Uh, no, I don't drink now. I've given it up. It's a, it's a very bad habit. Oh, you're so right. I only keep it for visitors. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on, Dolores. Think of something a little more sparkling. I wonder... Yes. Uh, will you... Oh, I will. Uh, pour me another cup of tea. <laughs> tea? Uh, yes, please. But you said you didn't want any more. I've changed my mind. Oh. As a matter of fact, there is something else I want to ask. Yes? I know it may sound silly after all this time and not writing and everything, but I never forgot you, Dolores. Yes? yes. And I couldn't believe my good fortune when I discovered that you hadn't married. I never married either. Didn't you? Uh, no. Uh, would it be too much to expect? Oh, no. I mean, would you consider? Oh, yes. I mean, will you marry me? Oh, this is so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, my cup is overflowing. Uh, uh, so is mine. Oh, no, my cup is 
no, 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 it doesn't matter. Um, what do you say? Will you marry me? Oh, yes, please. Ah, I get a special licence and we can be married next week. So soon. Uh, well, we've already wasted 25 years. We don't want to waste any more time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. What's the matter? No, we can't. We'll have to wait. You see, uh, my money is tied up abroad and it'll take several weeks to transfer it over here. Oh, well, that's all right. I have enough money. Oh, no, dear Loris, I couldn't have you paying for the wedding, the reception and the honeymoon. Oh, but what is mine is yours. No, no, it wouldn't be right. Oh, nonsense. Don't be so proud. Uh, well, uh, I'll tell you what I do. I will use your money on the strict understanding uh, that I pay you back when mine comes through. Oh, very uh, well, if you insist. <laughs> I most definitely do. Oh, gosh, Al, but I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. Oh, <laughs> Engagement. Uh, I got to uh, meet a fellow down the road uh, on some business. It'll only take a few minutes, and then I shall come back and take you to dinner somewhere, just the two of us. Oh, that would be lovely. Don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you going? <laughs> Albert? Everything all right, sir? Hey? Everything all right? I've just seen a fellow I haven't seen for years, Albert Collins. Oh, Albert, Miss Courtney's boyfriend. Never. Yes, yeah, true. He's a crook, he's a con man. Oh, uh, you must be mistaken. He's just come back from the Far East. He's been away for 20 years. He's been away, all right, doing some porridge. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been in prison. He was in the nick with my brother-in-law. He's in and out of there like a fiddler's elbow. <laughs> Do you know what his speciality is? Finding lonely women, asking them to marry him, taking their life savings and scarpering. I'm getting married in the morning. <laughs> Enter. Ding dong, the bells are going to try. Uh, Miss Courtney, I'm afraid I've got some rather disturbing news. Oh, nothing you could say to me today would disturb me, Miss Wright. Well, I think this might. It's about Albert. Ah, Albert, my future husband. Yeah, you see, I've just been talking to Sid and... Husband? Yes, we're getting married by special licence. Oh, no. Oh, now, Mr Brown, I know you're fond of me, but you mustn't take it. <laughs> has he tried to borrow any money from you? And I fail to see what business that is of yours. He has. Look, I hate to have to tell you, Miss Courtney, but your future husband is a crook. Don't be so impertinent. It's true, I'm afraid. He's, he's a con man. He specialises in proposing to lonely women and then taking their money. Oh, nonsense. I don't believe it. Well, ask Sid. His brother-in-law was in prison with him. Prison? Are you sure? I'm afraid so. Well, perhaps he's reformed. Oh, come on, you don't believe that, do you? No. <clears throat> I thought it was too good to be true. He's coming back to take me out to dinner. What shall I do? Don't worry, Miss Courtney. I'll deal with him. You just leave everything to me. Ah, I've got a message for you from Miss Courtney. Oh, yes. Push off. <laughs> what? Look, I know all about your little game, so I advise you to get lost quick before I throw you out. You and whose army? Me and this army. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, um, <clears throat> perhaps I had better be going. Miss Courtney, he's gone. Oh, thank you, Mr. Brown. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
they're parkers. Look, I'm going fishing this weekend and I shall need some more bait. No, only on the Thames, the maggots will do. I'll send something round to collect them. Oh, by the way, those trout flies I bought from you have been very successful. Especially the cocky bondu. Seems to attract the trout like a magnet. Yes, well, thank you again. Bye. Excuse me. Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> you startled me. Do you mind knocking before you barge in? I'm sorry. Is that better? I've lost it. You lost what? I have lost my favourite fly. I had it in my hand a moment ago. I must have dropped it. Can you see it anywhere? What does it look like? Well, it's about two inches long, red and black, and it's got a curly tail. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it's flown out the window. It is a fishing fly, a cocky bondu. A cocky what? Bondu. <laughs> oh. It must be here somewhere. Oh, well, if it's here, we'll find it. Oh, uh, well, perhaps I should come back later. Oh, Mr Brown, you can join in. Well, I'm not really that religious, actually. We are looking for a fly. A fly? Oh, yes, it's a two inches long. Hi. It was raining, he offered me shelter under his umbrella and he insisted on buying me a cup of tea and a sticky bun. How romantic. Yes, it's... Uh, well, that was how it all started. Why didn't you get married? Oh, it was awful he left me. Well, at the church? In a lurch. <laughs> oh, Mr Brown, I have never told anyone this before. Oh, well, if you'd rather not. No, sit down. Well... For years I have kept this terrible secret to myself. Now he is coming back into my life again, I feel I must tell someone, and I think I can trust you, Mr Brown. Well, I'd rather not if it's going to cause any embarrassment. Oh, it won't embarrass me. Yeah, but it might embarrass me. No, I'm sure it won't. Well, anyway, he um, asked me to go down to Brighton with him for one of those, you know, weekends. Oh, double room, Mr and Mrs Smith. Exactly. And you refused. Oh, no, I went. <laughs> I even remember the hotel. The Bella Vista, opposite the abattoir. Very Bella Vista. Well, we, we booked in, and Albert, being the thoughtful man he was, he uh, let me go upstairs first to um, prepare myself, as it were, whilst he had a drink in the bar. Getting up a bit of Dutch courage, eh? I beg your pardon. Oh, you need to feel such a lovely person waiting to be... Um... What happened then? He didn't turn up. <laughs> he got drunk, passed out, and spent the night on a settee in the residence lounge. How despicable. Well, I went home and I refused ever to see him again. I heard later that he was working in the Far East. But I must admit, I have always cherished a secret hope that he might one day come back. <laughs> Excuse me, please. Yes, Holly, what is it? Please come quickly. We are having plenty of trouble in the classroom. Well, what do you mean, trouble? Maxi and Giovanni, they are murdering each other. Come on, man. I'm bloody when you are. And I'm a lady when you are. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Will you come on, then? OK. Oi, oh, oh, show that. You're going to be sorry. We seals are going to be solid. OK. Come on, man. I'm waiting for you to come on. And I'm waiting for you. Brown, red and black, and uh, got a curly towel. Sounds quite lethal. Oh, would you mind helping us look for no, it? No, not at all. Oh, I found it. Where? It's here, just under the desk. Oh, I'll get it. No, stand back, Sid. You leave this to me. What are you doing, Mr. Brown? Stay okay, where you are, Miss Courtney. This could be dangerous. Yeah, that's good. Not moving. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Uh, just a minute. Better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> there. Oh, I've just remembered. I haven't inspected the boilers. Oh. <laughs> Have you quite finished, Mr. Brown, or would you like to borrow a hammer? You can't be too careful where strange insects are concerned. Have you any idea where it came from? Yes, W. Parker and Son. Ah, uh, pardon? Fishing tackle suppliers. Oh, fish... <laughs> it wasn't... It was. Oh, have you uh, got any glue? I don't think Charles are very fond of glue. No, I suppose they don't. I'll buy you another. Oh, I'll see that you do. Excuse me. Hello? Speaking. Pardon? Is it you? Is it really you? It is you. It's him. <laughs> what, you're, you're, you're coming here? You're, you're, you're not coming here. You, you are coming here. He's coming here. <laughs> you'll be sitting in half an hour. You'll be here in half an hour. He'll be here in half an hour. <laughs> I, no, you have to be Until then. Ooh. You feeling all right? 
That was him. Yes, and he's coming here in half an hour, but who is him? I mean, who is he? Well, it's, it's a man I never thought I'd see again. My ex fiance You mean you were actually engaged at one time? Well, there's no need to sound so surprised. <laughs> but he was, he was over 25 years ago. I mean, I mean, I was just... Well, I was very young. I met him at Oxford in the house. Some peasel. <laughs> Oh, I don't believe you're that stupid. Sorry. Just a joker. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Future, kindly leave your jokes at home. Right, Zoltan, I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, please. Which shop... Yes, shop, shop. Yeah, which shop would you go to to buy a packet of cigarettes? Cigarettes? Uh, no shop. Now, come on, Zoltan, you must go to some sort of shop. Zoltan, no smoke. <laughs> There you go for chewing gum. Ah! Mm. <laughs> sweet shop. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Anna tells me sweet. Yeah, no, sweet, sweet. Sweet or sweet, what's the difference? <laughs> well, the difference is, Anna, that you must learn to say were and not the. Were. The were. <laughs> really good. Then. Try again. The were? Yeah, try saying voa without the ver. Oa. <laughs> Almost, try again, but this time, d don't say a word, just wa. 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 Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. A wet weekend in winter. Wet weekend in winter. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Do you have a headache? Oh, no, sir. <laughs> Assume you have a headache. Where would you go to get some aspirin? Ah. Tandoori takeaway. <laughs> no, um, yes, please. My jolly good friend who is working there always had plenty aspirin. Mm. I meant to buy some aspirin. Why should I be buying them when I can be getting them from my friend? <laughs> Nothing at all. All right. Where do you go for aspirin when the tandoori takeaway is closed? Oh, blimey. Taj Mahal curry house. <laughs> Camilla, would you please tell Ali where you go to get aspirin? My chemist. Thank you. Hey, come on, come on, stop this brawling. Oh, so lucky for you, Professor. Stop me from giving you a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will not have fighting in the class. Fighting? It was more like dancing. <laughs> I was just warming up. Yeah, me too. Yeah, well, what is all this about? I tell you, Professor. Isa called me a wop. <laughs> and he's calling me a greaseball. <laughs> yeah, well, come on, everybody, sit down. I wish you could pick up proper English as quickly as you pick up slang. I have enough trouble with Ali and Ranjit. Now, don't you two start falling out. I shake hands. Come on. Come on. Right, now, tonight, I want to concentrate on English conversation, the sort of things that you have to say during the course of every day, all right? For example, Ranjit, where would you take a check? Czechoslovakia. <laughs> <laughs> Not that sort of check. <laughs> check for a certain amount of money. Where would you take it? To a bank. Thank you. Right. Juan. Yes, if you felt ill, what would you do? Go to bed. <laughs> but before that? Uh, take the clothes off. <laughs> you could go to the doctors. No, no doctor. Doctor kill my uncle in Madrid. <laughs> really? Gee, my uncle, he has pain in the chest. He goes see doctor. Doctor, he listen and say, so I. <laughs> Ten minutes later in the street, my uncle, <laughs> finito. What, a heart attack? Motocar. <laughs> well, you can hardly blame the doctor for that. Che, the doctor, he was driving the motor. <laughs> uh, Taro. Ah, so. Although weights are now metric in this country, we still use an old system, which is known as what? Saria, not Noah. Does anybody know of the no? <laughs> Avoir du poids. Excellent. Merci. Does Avoir du Poir ring a bell now, Taro? Yes, sir. Avoir du Poir is French for Have you 